And taking the stage right now, we have Team Secret. They had already a tough road in this competition. In a lower bracket matchup, they had to go against, or in, in that upper bracket matchup, they had to go against some very tough competition. Now, in the lower side of the mid, like get a really uh, huge advantage going. What about a timber saw? Oh, the mid one Meepo, they're pulling it out. Yeah, so I was telling you about if they were saving strats or not, because the last few here, the last few games, mid one just played those like normal. This is death right here for you guys. That's why Ragey Potato puts himself a little bit farther away from the bounty room, tries to scout out, and they see Zai running forward, just trying to establish that dominance. He's going to go for the Gush level 1, as you said. Yabsor yeah, is going to be nailed by the arrow. Nico Baby doesn't feel good about this fight, though. He's going to stun up Puppy instead, and Ninja Boogie. Mineski chose to take this fight, and they will choose to watch Ninja Boogie die. Fade away first blood, the Yabsor. Didn't I just say, don't take this fight, you're not going to win this fight. And look at Raging Potato, he's trying really hard to get the bounty room, but he gets caught by the telekinesis, now body blocked as well. He went for the level 1 arrow, that's 2. Okay, uh, obviously I'm not in the game. Look at this, Raging Potato is sitting on the high ground just perfectly. They do manage to get a scan on him, so they're going to run around, but Mineski simultaneously got a scan on the secret. Now, Nico Baby's going to be spotted here. He does have stick charges. That'll be enough for the reincarnation, so he should be fine. If anything, he's going to turn around and fire blast with the arrow landing onto Puppy as well. A smoke leading to a death for Team Secret, it seems. The paralyzing cast, still not enough. One more shot for the Murata. Is it going to do it? But Death Ward Ninja very Boogie. rapidly changing targets there for Ninja Boogie. Smart play by him. He's going to die to mid one for sure. And that's going to be dominating streak. That is actually quite concerning, giving that to mid one all that uh, gold and experience. Look at Nisha, though, being bullied by KP. Just doesn't slow down. Pops a heavenly grace on himself. That's four levels. That's going to last a long time. Has a ton of regen to it. Look at him just run. It won. Do they need the rotation? The is anybody going to help them out? They're going to bring more heroes to the Tika. They're going to blow the Ravage. They have Puppy TVing in as well. They use everything they have to bring down the TI finalist in KP. But during this time, Moon has just been farming away, and that gank was really expensive. Uh, if you notice, they dropped one ward and two sentries all of it right now, while Ravage is just about to come off cooldown. They're going to go for Nisha here in the bottom lane, but this is where the rotation is going to come from Secret, but they may not be here in time, as Nisha is just going to get beaten to a pulp. They're going to try and deal with his familiars as well, but that's where Secret shows up. They're going to be able to catch the back line first. Rage of Potato falls down, right up in. Three-man Ravage with the Nisha burn down, dropping onto three of them with the instairs as well. Here comes the Evil the Unstable Concussion goes out. They just finish off Mineski. They thought they had the free kill. Moon's gonna come back in though. Another round on table. Concoction does manage to nail the Meepo. Can he focus it down in time? Mid one needs to be able to get this Meepo out of here. He's trying to chase away from Moon. Monk spots him. Does manage to get the unstable concoction. And no, he doesn't finish off. Finally, he turns back around. Takes away that Aegis, but at what cost? Mineski have now just Moon on the has on himself. He does the, uh, manage to get off the unstable concoction for a moment. Yeah, he's gonna burn out, but not before he gets out the Rain Fire Blast to make sure the Galvis dies. Five-man team wipe and the buyback from Ninja Boogie. That'll be six. Secret, they needed to do a... Mineski want to go for a trade and take the bottom one, but I think Secret defend this tower. It's yeah. way too healthy for them not to. Moon's going to get lifted to start. Yapsor knows that he has the leap to be able to get away if Mineski tries to catch him. And instead, it's going to be Moon who's caught with a chemical rage out. He's going to turn and fight. Mid one needs to be careful of his Meepos, though. He's going to be able to get one of them out. He's stunned up the Incible Concoction. Good ethereal play. But now, tries to jump away, but there's too many shots. Now, the cast, it bounces back once again and again and again and again. He dies. And Tidehunter is going to fall inside of that. Puppy tries in vain just to get out a good freezing field to bring down these heroes. But Mineski, they're too damn strong. They've already brought down the cores, and they know the supports are food. And so are the objective. And they're right in front of the base with the creep wave. Tide's gonna buy back. They don't have to buy back on the Meepo. That's even more important. And this Alchemist with AC is gonna take your base so quickly. With no Ravage, with no Meepo, how can Secret possibly stop this push? Zai tries to slow down with an anchor smash, hoping that he's gonna lure Mineski into diving the base. Mineski, maybe gonna play a bit scared? No, Nico baby, he wants to be able to find a kill. Bring arrow blast into the air, doesn't land. Had to throw it around the birds there, and as a result, just a slight sidestep was able to get out of the trajectory of that arrow, but Mineski gonna be up one lane of barracks here. Nico baby has his own built-in one. You've got the cheese, you've got everything that oh, uh, Omni Knight provides to you with the Guardian's Angel and the purifications. 
I mean, this Heavenly Grace Alchemist, don't forget, it gives you 28 bonus strength. That's just damage that he's going to throw into these buildings. And there we go. Look at him just ignore the press. Focusing on the melee barracks, the rest of the secret looking for anybody to be able to go to. But Moo, but Moo takes that opportunity to turn and finish off Nisha. Instant buyback. Puppy in trouble. The Maladie is going to take him out inside. He may be in trouble as well, but Nico Baby doesn't want to extend himself. He knows Megas is the focus. Moon looking to be able to finish off that range rack. He should be able to get this side. The vice goes off. Defensive force down. Moon going back in with a BKB trying to get this people. Unstable concoction locking them all down. Focusing the one with Soul Hero. The force staff does manage to get him away with the arrow. Nail with the other Meepo. That's going to finish off. A buyback coming out from Secret. Now they have to hope, pray, that Mineski will feed their lives away off of the greater good, but no, it's going to be the arrow coming out on Yanisha. Controlled up, great paralyzing cast. Nico Baby trying to finish him off. That's going to be his first life. Second life coming up for him and the Alchemist. Unstable concoction, ready to go. On the Meeples, controlling them up. KP protecting with the Heavenly Grace. Look at him just beating down those poor little dwarves. They're going to die soon, Moon. He may also fall, though. His Spin Wigger survived. The Star Storm, not quite enough. The Scythe on the Elk is actually going to live through this. Nico Baby, he's controlled up as well. Mid one. He survives through it all, Mineski, they die, and they don't have buyback on the Alchemist, they have buyback on everybody else. This is your only moment, I feel like, for Secret. There's no buyback on the Alchemist, but it's 100 seconds, enough time to do it. They make the Miracle hold, but it costs them all of their wrath. All it takes is one fight. The Tier 3, Secret. And there's no glyph either. Move to the tier fours, holding on to the buybacks. They're gonna try and make sure the Rage of Potato is well. KP can still buy back. Nico, baby, he's gonna make his jump forward. He does have those extra lives, but he's probably gonna need it for the Omni Knight. He dies so fast. And sure enough, KP buys back with just five seconds left on the clock. Can he get there in time? Can he actually save Nico, baby? He's gonna pop his BKB. Rage of Potato going forward. Instantly gets controlled up, but does have the old scepter another leap away. They're trying to finish him off. Heals coming out. KP can't provide enough. Go the Ethereal Blade, finish him off. Now, they might another buyback. Secret they're they're doing this. Tier four, Gonna fall. Yeah, Secret, has a death sword. They do on the Maledict with the death coming out from them. They might be able to chop down these buildings faster, faster, faster. Nico Baby has the hold. They're trying to go for it. They jump in. The last stage ever to be able to finish off Big One Meepo. But he's finished off Nico Baby. He's dead. He's dead. The Alchemist is dead. The throne is done. Do it. He's jump up. He can't stop it. Secret win. Secret do it. They make the comeback. Mineski ends the game up 12 nothing goal. Unbelievable team. Secret. Difficult to catch both in the chrono. Moon Lena is going to be the last pick for Mineski. Quick final thoughts, Febby. It might be a potato Lena, I think. You think so? Yeah, it might be a potato Lena. And moon Tiny? Yeah, Moon Tiny. Okay. The If they put the Lena mid, it's a completely free lane up at top. Raging Potato, he's got the him. right now. The stun flies out first, doesn't have a toss target. Toss away, they're going to be able to get Gapsor, but he does still have that haste room. He's going to play in the river, trying to get those high ground shots against Rage of Potato, positioning himself. Good LSA. Now they're going to try and challenge him. Rage of Potato knows he's dead. They're just hoping to be able to get a kill on Yapsor. The last shot chased him down. Yapsor falls. The supports get traded out. Mid one still has to be careful. He's taken out. The triangle was going to be the next spot to ward. Instead, they're going to find. They know where he is. Nisha is going to be caught by the avalanche, even though he's blurred up. Laguna going to play to bring him down, too, and he almost had the desolator. LSA is going to be able to catch Zai tossed up in the air to his death. That is rough. He was 400 gold away from that desolator when he finished up the ancient stack, and he remains at that number now. And what sucks about this, too, is whenever you have the mag on your team, every second that you're dead just feels even worse and worse. Because you know the amount of potential farm that you're losing out on is so significant. And they know that Puppy is there because the ward is still there. Haven't dewarded it quite yet. This is going to be another kill for Mineski as Puppy. I, he's really tanky, but will eventually go down. Moon is unstoppable. And he is delivered so far in this series. 6-0 and 3. Moon, he thinks twice about it. And they take the fight without Chronosphere. Is this Invis Rune going to be enough an advantage? He's going to bring several smokes. going to be spotted by the Sentry. Rod of Atos goes out, but just on a puppy. That shouldn't really matter. KP, knowing that, retreats back behind this Tier 1 tower. You said that Mineski would fight to defend this tower. But will they win this fight? Is they're going to have to do it without a Chronosphere? Nisha almost dying already. The infinite shot, the last one. It hits all the way and it ends. It nails him, Anisha falls, Puppy. He's gonna be eliminated, the Laguna Blade comes out. Toss away, Yaps are trying to hide in the trees. The Telekinesis is hitting Raging Potato. Means they can't find a third kill for that. Well, mid one bides his time. I think he's looking to be able to cut some creep waves because this is looking like desperate times. 
top lane is getting cut. Hunter goes to the final. They're gonna fall in for this. They try and burst him down, but they don't actually hit him. The avalanche covers the ground. And now Midwest toss up in the air. Rage of Potato made the read. The Chronosphere coming up from the Outdoor is beautiful, but Mid walking to get there in time. He runs them over. There goes the lead up before a single spell is cast. And now Nico, baby, he's trying to get the bash out. He's trying to finish up Midwest. Can he do it? The bash isn't good enough. Midwest triple kill into the trace. They go. They find another kill. The PA dies. Actually, Mineski are able to get something out of this, but KP, he could stay alive for a long Stewart. time, but it's underneath the tier three, he will fall. Ultra kill for mid one. Secret, you have to be careful against this team. Any, just a second of weakness, and they will pounce. And now he's almost got his BKB. That's what we were looking for. Storm in that situation, so good on Lena because you'll always get the jump on her. You can get to this around that. Mid one dies. Justin, the Chronosphere fades away. Yapsor, looking to be able to turn this, has telekinesis, toss him the air. Yule Scepter's eye immediately throws out the RP, locks down Moon. Who's getting lost? They need a blow up. Skewer, four staff away. PKP activated. Nisha having a hard time. The Hunter goes to the here, but can they do anything about it? Nisha looking to be jumped on the edge and a crit takes out the Lina. He does have buyback though, and Nisha's being controlled up. Can Nico Baby actually get the bash? He managed to get the jump away as Maldic on him. Nico Baby doesn't want to overcommit, but he does have the agents with his telekinesis. He'll actually died to tier three. Lena does not buy back. She could join her team if she wants to in this push. I don't think Moon wants to get into a position where he buys back and they have to race again. That was the Aegis use. They've got a reset off of this. And the App Store, once again, with the Chrono Steel, the positioning of it was perfect. The toss forward, the skewer back. KP, can they actually get him? They need another crit to force that away. Nico Baby looks to be able to slow down Nisha. The Rod of Atos actually gets him in PA. Stuck. KP the starts casting off. Now the paralyzing cast. Ninja Boogie. What a swing. And Nisha being locked down. He will fall. No buyback there either. 19k gold lead. Three heroes down. Nico Baby going for the melee racks. They're in such a good position right now. All they have to do, take the racks, reset. The storm's about to be alive. Secret, they've got to be careful though. They've got no big spells to defend this with, no RP. And now, okay, now they've learned, surely. Blitz Dota, if you could go back in time and change one thing about your life, what would you do? Mineski, they're certainly contemplating, but if it is composure, I have to admire Mineski for just continuing, like they'll smoke up, they'll try to find a pickoff like this for Raging Potato, but they never go all in. They never give Secret that opportunity. They're gonna go for Puppy here. Chronosphere does manage to catch the app in the back, but it doesn't catch the core. The, 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 the call up, the two, the Chronosphere, second time around, they're gonna be able to catch him with the Chronosphere. The Astro, can he stop this? Oh, the Astro! It hits I, it wins the RP, and now Big One gonna fly back. Here comes the Chronosphere. The long zip in for Mid One, not here yet. Now the zip in occurs, but it's a bit too late. Nico Baby's already jumped away. He's gonna be able to grab the lead, though the second RP from Sai. Now Nisha jumps in, wipes out. No fire, not gonna be saved by the old scepter. That's Alina dead. Buyback's already flowing out from Mineski. Are they gonna use it on Alina as well? They will. Cheese up for KP. He's gonna eat it again. Can he survive through all this one? Nico Baby jumping in. But the double pull gets controlled up. He's gonna buy back as well. Now KP's ultra dead. kill. Ultra kill for Nisha. Now get for another one. Like they're gonna be able to catch Range of Potato. Does have the interior plate onto himself. Ninja Boogie begins to back up. Yule Scepter. They have no buyback on KP. They're gonna have no buyback on Raging Potato. Do you believe in the 10%? Are they gonna be able to go down mid and force a three versus five? Unbelievable. Eight seconds. One tier four dead. Two I think he seconds. Needs the dream chrono. Another tier four gone. Zero seconds. The Chronos tears up and he goes for Nisha. He's going to try and take out the Venom Assassin as quick as possible. Look at the damage flowing in. The bats are going to be good enough. He's the dead. It's in buyback though. Puppy going to be chased. Nico Baby's already blown his BKB. The they secret. They said Nisha was a fine target. We are still out of the They're going to be able to lock down KP. But now short he dies. KP's up and down. The Chronos here plays against the star. He dies to the infinite. Die. He actually managed to take Can it. They hold? Can he get away? He's trying to jump away from Nisha. He's trying to finish this up. Five minutes to live. They need the buyback. They need to be able to get Moon. He's going to be able to get the bash. Moon trying to drift away. Moon's still alive. Someone will have to tell Kenny's this. This will be the best. He's gone. Let me get Nisha. He's dead. Secret. Dead with three. Dead with three. Yeah, Thor. They don't have buyback cap. Nico, baby. It won't be Deja Vu. He can do it. They're going to be able to run down. First. They've got to kill these two heroes. Into the tier four, they go. Side has 
to make the RP of his life here. They need to hold Skewer 30 seconds in. for two heroes to come back. 15 seconds for mid one. One tier four, already down. Nico Baby about to finish up. There goes the Skewer. Brought in Raging Potato. He has the Old Scepter. He has the Force Staff. He can get out of this mess. KP tries to save him that. They're just hitting the throw. They will stop him. They're going for the throw. They've right got to go in right now. HP. Two seconds. Mid one's almost up. But Nico Baby, he's trying to finish up. The corner's here to let it go. And do you believe in Miracle? Maneski. 1-1, they've tied up the series, they will go the distance with the number one DPC team in the world, Team C. Him and keep following it up. Uh, I'm kind of worried for the secret lanes again because, you know, I thought the tiny one... This aggro dual lane from Vanessa. Yeah, this is a great situation for the Ogre. Um, you can trade easily. Secret have two different heroes caps that are meant to just win one-on-one -on -one fights. Yeah. And this is not the case right now, as the Ogre can bully you out, the Shaman can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Elder Titan. You can see that Raging Potato is actually using Puppy's Creeps to farm up the neutrals. And Puppy is trying to do something about it. They're going to man fight a little yeah. bit, but one last shot. Fable, can it stop the damage? It's not enough. Raging Potato gets the first blood. His life will be traded away very likely here, as he cannot run far enough. KP thought about reason. throwing out the Fire Blast, but doesn't think it's worth it for the mana, and he would be completely correct. The trade-off, though, is that the Omni Knight, but they don't have their Death Prophet here. Secret. Riding around their shrine, they've got the numbers advantage. The pipe has been paced. It's been used almost immediately. And Zai, I mean, he ends any thoughts You're of aggression. He just doesn't care about you. Raging Potato does manage to get the Hex off. There's the Avalanche. The Ice Blast is coming in. They do manage to get the Guardian Angel. That will help protect mid one. Here comes the Absors, but it doesn't actually nail a whole lot. That's going to be the Ogre going down. Nico Baby still trying to focus on mid one because they have in the Grace. Mid one is actually going to be fine here. Now we have the Exodus amount. The Absor does manage to force staff down to the low ground. Moon pursuing, trying to get another Spirit type, and this time on mid one. Can he actually take down this Tiny? Well, they've already lost most of their support. Chronosphere catching him just on the side. Mid one tries to get away of the tree. And now the Death Prophet's dead. Nico Baby comes back with his second life, slowed down, and this is going to be the second team fight. Now he's here to die. It's Team Secret absolutely outclassed Mineski and almost wiped them. And Zai's still chasing. He wants the full team wipe. They're going to extend their lead 7k. The Blink Dagger, I feel like, just doesn't really do anything for you. Seems to be their turn to sit oh, back. Ah! Still got it. The crowd like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, an attack, a projectile like Death Prophets, it's not fast. It does that little swirly animation as it makes its way We're to the target. Here. AP. He's going to be slowed down. Fire Blast onto the Void, trying to slow down the damage. There goes the Heaven of the Grace. Ninja Book is already dead from mid one. He managed to get the initiation onto him. At the same time, they're going on KP. So that's two dead already. But mid one, they're actually going to go for this one, threatening the Chronosphere. Mew does manage to get outside of it. Guardian Angel will protect him against this Exorcism. And the lockdown on Nico Baby. They're going to try and focus on Moon while they have Nico Baby just naturally die out. The Circle Wards are there. The BKB, they've almost finished off Moon. The Volley almost does it. But Death Prophet managed to survive off the Yule Scepter. And so instead, they're going for the Wraith. Who's had half health? They're trying to play around these swords as best as possible. Blink's healing. Going on the outdoor spirit side and healing up. He managed to actually heal through all that one, but Nisha has now locked him down. A ton of damage on Anisha. Quickly stopped by Zai, who gets on the purification. KB, who came back into this fight, may just exit it just as quickly as Silence goes out. On the four from Moon, they go back into this one. Yeah, ice, ice Blast. Blast and they finish him off. He's dead, but the follow up there comes out from the volley to be able to finish up Nico, baby. Moon, blast down. Pump. They want Jump the team forward. Wide. They're going to be able to get the Omni Knight. That's going to be a wipe. This time, secret. They challenge Mineski. They say, we think we're stronger than you. Let's put it to the test. But the buybacks, that's what makes the difference. Mineski used three different buybacks, but it wins them the fight, and it just might win them Roshan. With the double damage and the Ice Blast used. Oh, they're going to use the Old Scepter, dispelling off that double damage. And the Ice Blast about to come back up, but first Nisha and mid one trying to find their opening. But Raging Potato again with the fast Blink Dagger away. Now Secret have overextended themselves. They're going to try and catch the Absor. Puppy managing to stop it. It's mid one who's going to get caught. Yeah, instead. Some they do have the Ice Blast. Purification goes out. BKB and the Guardian Angel. Bye bye damage. They can't bring down mid one anymore. Puppy throws out the Earth Splitter with the Chronosphere as well. It's not going to be able to hit. Can they bring down Moon? It's going to be a close call, but he does fall. Now they're going to turn back into Nico, baby. Never mind. Raging Potato's a better target. but because of the ages, they need to be able to get out. But he's been caught in the shackles. Raging Potato. They, they, they have the Heavenly Grace. They're going to be able to save each other. A little bit more of the silence. 
Oh, that was good enough. The Force he gets away. The Force staffs again come in clutch for Team Secret. Mid one. Inside the pit, he's ready to go back in, but he has to blink out. It's Rage Pineo, jumps forward, KP. He's gonna be able to get the initiation on mid one side. He's trying to make his way to be able to bail out mid one. The Ice Blast comes in though. They bring down mid one. He's dead. They look for more. Sai and Yapsor. Running him down. Hex on one. Ray Fire Blast quite soon on the other. If they can actually get him, double Solar Crest as well. That means that damage from Nico, baby. He's about to bring down the Omni Knight of Zai. Hey, he's still going for the multicast. One more hit. Stop it. And they're right in front of the base right now. That gold lead has been completely evaporated. Mineski have, in fact, wrested it away from Secret. They will not roll over. What is happening right now, Moon? Silence the mid one so we can't actually or heavenly grace coming out from that Omni Knight. They have to hunt Zai down. This really is a game about hunting Zai. I will say his build not going for Greaves has hurt him so much because oh, yeah. he doesn't have the ability to remove that silence easily. Oh, now they're going for it. Cat, they don't care. It. Ice blast in the pit. Moon showing himself in bottom lane. Dude, is Mineski actually gonna fight around this? This is gonna go really Dude's quick. Sleeping in, can they get in there in time? Nico Bain gets vision off into neutral. Then trying to go for Nisha. He's already popped his BKB. Chronos here to be able to pick up the agents and cheese. He's got that. Now he's gonna be able to jump over to the side, trying to go for Moon as best as possible. Now time lock out. Spider ready to be the first light. It might be the agents as well. Look at Midwan, he's TPing back to the shrine right now. He's trying to stay in the fight. Zai's so gone. Get out of the river, but Zai's gone. He doesn't have buyback. And Nico Baby, he's blinked forward if he can get any more. But 104 seconds now for Zai. Two minutes on his buyback. They've got the numbers advantage. Ages and cheese, but for what? No Omni Knight, no Chronosphere, and it's up KP, but he's so tanky. The Ogre's good. Mid one, pummeling them with the volley. Try to win off. this fight. Go maybe as best as possible, but Moon, he's getting into the exorcism damage. A fade ball to be able to finish off the Ogre. He does have buyback. Mid one, he also dies as well. Moon's able to chase him down into the high ground. Nisha man fighting against an Angel Boogie. He gets one. Can he get two? He gets three, but no. He's gonna die here. He does have the ages on his second life, though. Nico Baby and KP sit on top of him. They need to be able to chase him down. Ray Fire Blast one. Fire Blast two. Ice Blast in. Four staff. That's not gonna hit. The tree volley over the top. They're gonna be able to turn. They're gonna be able to fight. Can they bring down Moon? The Ice Blast stolen by Yansor. One second for the blink on Nico Baby. And he, he does away. to get it. The Avalanche doesn't hit him. Now it's KP's turn. And he this was KP's buyback. They have the silence though. The counter you like Yule Scepter. Being countered by the Lotus Sword. Shiva's out. Three versus four. Nico Baby. There's One second. Oh, the no fire. Trying to finish off the Faceless Void. But again, the four staff is going to be good enough. Pump. Who's in the middle oh, of everything? Alex. Nisha has a BKB though. They running out of physical damage. Nico Baby is trying to go for mid one instead. But Moon, he's being checked out. One the second. Bash. He's dead. Fake He just hit a card. He doesn't have buyback, he was one second away from the Yules. Nico Baby, he'll be able to at least get Puppy, but the rest is secret, they're not tanky enough. They can't actually go to the second life of the Wraith King. But one second and Zai is about to be alive. Secret in a great position now, no buyback for 106 seconds. 74 seconds on the deck for the Ogre, back to the fountain. And you've got a stall secret, because once again, they're going for your throne. Telekinesis pullback, mid one, toss him over to Nisha, Nisha. And he's just trying to waste time right now in secret. And they're obliging right now, they're walking away from the tower. They don't have Glyph though. And this is gonna be a hard hold. There's no buybacks, he's gonna have to do this 1v5. They did it before, two versus five. 10 seconds on for KP, nullifier, on to Puppy. Looking to try and execute the captain of Team Secret, but he can't finish him off. He's still trying to go for it. Secret's just ignoring him. dancing around. Nico maybe does have the reincarnation, so he's man fighting here. He even wants to die. He needs the AOE Ray Fire Blast. That's why Secret aren't finishing him off. The Guardian Angel, good for the throw. It's exposed, Tier Force down. Nico Baby is trying to finish up anybody he can, but Nisha swinging away. They don't do the They have it. Another comeback! Unbelievable Another victory for Team Secret! I can't believe they pulled this one out. The fight lasted so long. Barely able to pull it out and Secret, they went for the win when Mid-1 went for the buyback to help out the rest of his team.